I think we've made um, a lot of progress, but it's nowhere near where I wanted to be because by 2020, I want to get to the point when it is equal between men and women uh, on our radio channels, on our uh, television uh, programmes as well. I think we've made some progress. Um, and I think over the last three, four years, or the last three years anyway, 60% uh, of the new hires we've done for or promotions we've done have been women. That's good. You see that on the... 10 o'clock news, you, you feel that on the Today programme, which now can be sometimes just presented by women. You see it on Strictly or indeed on the new uh, Doctor Who. Um, but I think we've got much more uh, to do there and I am determined to get it right. When I first came back to the BBC, um, I uh, wanted to get a, uh, another woman to present the Today programme. We did it. Uh, it took a couple of months. Um, I wanted to get our local radio stations who at that point, 14% of their breakfast shows were presented by women, the rest were done by men. I said, I want to get to half and half in two years, and we got there as well. I'm a great believer in action behind the principles you stand for. So that's the thing I really want to achieve in the next two, three years. But there are people who will look at this list and they'll say, actually, you might have made progress in your time as Director General, but the evidence is emphatically clear. Only a third of the people yeah. on the list are female. The top paid stars are dominated very much by men. And although individual circumstances vary and you have to look at rotoring and all that sort of thing, there are several shows where men and women seem to do similar jobs and the men are paid much, much more. Isn't there actually quite a clear signal here, which is that for all the talk about gender equality, the BBC is way behind where it should be in no, 2017. We're, we're, we're making big uh, strides. Um, but I just want to stress, I'm not complacent. We have a lot to do. And I want us to be an exemplar, not just to media companies, but to the whole of the UK about how to handle us. But if you look at the um, gender pay gap, which uh, the the average for the whole of the UK is just over 18%. We're at 10%. So already we're in a better place than the average. But I'm not complacent about that. There's a lot to do. Um, and I'm determined that we're going to do that.